So I want to thank everyone for coming. This is our 13th annual conference in uh, Miami. We've got 248 registrants from 23 countries. 41% of attendees live in offshore jurisdictions and 59% live in big countries. Uh, the biggest source of attendees is the United States. So basically half of everyone who's registered lives in the United States. The second biggest source is the Cayman Islands with 17%. Then the British Virgin Islands with 11% of all attendees, Canada and the UK with 4% each. Uh, other countries represented include Antigua and Barbuda, Austria, the Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Bermuda, Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, Brazil, Costa Rica, Guernsey, Hong Kong, Ireland, the Isle of Man, Nigeria, Norway, Romania, Switzerland, and the Turks and Caicos Islands. My favorite description of our uh, event is one that uh, Washington DC based attorney Jack Blum, who I know is in attendance, uh, gave to the Wall Street Journal for a profile in 2009. And his quote was, it's like that famous bar in Star Wars where they all come together. The good guys, the bad guys, the seriously guilty, and they all exchange information on neutral territory. So in that vein, you know, we've got attendees from uh, many different areas of international finance, financial services providers, uh, promoters of jurisdictions, bankers, business consultants, compliance officers, investigators, prosecutors, regulators, litigators, uh, insolvency practitioners, and of course, tax collectors. We've 30 journalists uh, registered to attend uh, our event, including one Pulitzer Prize winner. Um, and the journalists are from ABC News, BBC Radio, Bloomberg, Reuters, the Associated Press, Agencia EFE, the Wall Street Journal, uh, BuzzFeed, representing the new media, uh, the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project, Swiss Radio, Handel Zeitung of Switzerland, DN, which is Norway's business daily, uh, Tax Notes, the Miami New Times, Pinnacle Media in the Cayman Islands, the American Interest, the Association of Certified Financial Crime Specialists, the Association of Certified Anti-Money Laundering Specialists, and uh, we have filmmakers and documentary producers, including one from Hollywood. So basically, you know, if anyone has uh, a story to tell, there is an abundance of people to tell your story to. You know, our event is about uh, international financial intelligence and investigations, you know, always with an emphasis on offshore financial centers, which is what we specialize in. And, you know, our sole aim is just to provide credible, accurate, and up-to-date information about different aspects of international finance to help you make better decisions. Uh, wherever you're coming from, buyers, providers, or investigators. In my opinion, this is the best agenda we've put on. Uh, if, for example, we have uh, the former computer systems engineer for uh, Liechtenstein's best-known fiduciary who discovered how his boss, you know, Professor Dr. Dr. Herbert Batliner, his professorship was honorary. Who knows about the doctor, doctor, but he has two doctorates and feels obligated to put it in uh, the title of it before his name begins. 
the computer engineer discovered how his boss had amassed hundreds of millions of dollars of wealth just running, you know, a Liechtenstein sort of trust operation. When settlers of trust died, he apparently transferred the assets to himself instead of the legal beneficiaries. Now, one of these two people went to prison, and it wasn't the guy who was accused of stealing hundreds of millions of dollars of client funds. It was the whistleblower. And actually, the alleged fraudster is very powerful. Money buys wealth. He's close to the pope. Um, I think he's close to the Austrian government. I think the Austrian government protects him. You know, and this repulses me on many levels. And it's things like this that really uh, give me the motivation to uh, expose financial crime as an investigative journalist and, you know, try to put on a, you know, bloody good agenda uh, that, you know, I, th I think uh, has a lot of uh, value to it and a lot of social value. We've also got another session. I mean, whistleblowers are the flavor of the, you know, probably decade, you know, not, not just a month. Um, we've got uh, a session with uh, Bradley Birkenfeld, uh, formerly of UBS, and uh, Irve Falciani, formerly of HSBC, which has been in the news a lot recently. Uh, Brad's actually here at the event. Um, Hervé, uh, there's Switzerland issued an arrest warrant out for him. Um, he wanted to physically attend, but he's going to be participating by Skype because if he'd actually physically attended this event, we would have been left with a bizarre situation of the United States probably being forced by international law to arrest a Swiss tax whistleblower on US territory and send him off to Switzerland, uh, which, you know, uh, irony uh, doesn't really do that scenario justice. Um, as always, I want to emphasize that offshore alert, we're not pro, we're not anti offshore. Um, just, we're here to provide information, you receive the information, and you filter it through whatever you know, biases you have and, and hopefully make uh, good decisions based on that. You know, we're, we're not here to moralize, we're here to help you understand what, you know, what's going on and stay on the right side of the law in an industry which is brutal and it's unforgiving. I mean, international finance is, is, is you know, a, a cesspit of activity, and you really need to be on your toes all the time. Because one false move, and you could be financially ruined, or you could be reputationally ruined, or both. Uh, our sessions will take, you know, for much of the two days, we have three concurrent sessions. So they'll be taking place in three rooms. There's sort of this room, which is basically salon one and two combined. So this is the main room. There's a room next door on your right, which is called salon three. And there's a room upstairs on the third floor, which is a combination of the Lincoln and Lummis rooms. Uh, the morning and afternoon breaks will be held in the foyer. Where, where you, uh, which is just outside this door, where I'm sure you've eaten and, and been drinking uh, this morning for breakfast. Um, the lunches are due to be outside, as is tonight's cocktail reception. I think weather-wise, we'll probably be okay today. Tomorrow, we might have to hold lunch indoors because I think it's due to rain. Details about where everything uh, is being held are contained in your conference bags. There's a schedule. Also, I encourage everybody to download our conference app. We have an app for the first time this year. Uh, you can view the agenda. You can personalize the agenda. Um, you can view all attendees. You can directly communicate with them, which is very important because you know, networking is uh, an essential element of attending an event like this. Um, you can participate in polls. We have various polls. That's anonymous, 
You don't have to worry about anybody knowing, you know, whether you're pro-offshore or anti-offshore. Uh, it's strictly anonymous. Um, you can upload and view photographs. And um, in order to encourage people to use this app, points are awarded every time you do something. At the end of the conference, we'll take the top 20 points leaders and we'll raffle, and two of them will win, an Apple Watch. And these Apple Watches are due to arrive in four to six weeks, so... <laughs> the Chinese nine-year-olds haven't been working as diligently as they should have. But uh, you have my word that we will mail those to the winners. Um, uh, however, one did arrive, and uh, whether they arrived or not depended on what type you ordered. So I, I have an Apple Watch here. So uh, we've picked out the name of an attendee whose uh, conference is going to get off to a good start because I'm about to award her uh, this beautiful Apple Watch. Uh, Sharon Damali of Cayfin in the Cayman Islands. <laughs> you want to get a photograph of this man? <laughs> oh, thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thanks for coming. And uh, that was not on behalf of Offshore Alert. That was on behalf of all of our sponsors. And I never take any of our sponsors for granted. And uh, it, it, these are the sponsors. Uh, Astigaraga Davis, Martin Kenny & Co, Nixon Peabody, Murant Ozan, Cayman Finance, PwC, Cobri & Kim, Baker Hostetler, GMMC and Associates, Norton Rose Fulbright, Farmer, Farber, sorry, Farber Financial Group, Campbell's, Invest Barbados, Cayman National, Hush Blackwell, KK Forensic, BVI Finance, and Financial Forensic Services. The Wi Fi code is KYC. 2015. Um, we keep printed material down to an absolute minimum. There's really no need for it. Who wants to be carrying a, you know, 20 pound bag around? I certainly don't. We're audio and video recording everything. So you, uh, a couple of weeks typically after the conference ends, you'll receive an email with a username and password. Uh, showing you uh, where you can go to uh, view videos and audio recordings of all of the sessions. So when you have a choice to make, when we're holding three concurrent sessions, you know, just go to the one you want to physically attend. You won't miss out on the other two. You'll be able to see them later. So uh, that's it. Uh, I'd like to invite uh, the first panelists. They're from the IRS. Uh, Dan Reeves is the moderator. He's the former head of the IRS's uh, offshore unit, and he will introduce the other panelists. <laughs>